Why? Hello and welcome everybody. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a update to the Righteous Fire Inquisitor that I've been playing. Uh, I've been taking it a little bit slow this league. I'm not really used to trading. As you guys know, I've been playing SSF for the past couple of years. So I'm going to go ahead and hover over the gear that we have, for the most part, crafted. Um, and then from there, I'm going to show you guys some map clear. And the real only other thing I have to do at the moment is just still get better gear, elevated mods, recraft my weapon, cap my chaos resist, and get better clusters. But I'm just going to go ahead and start by hovering over everything for you guys real fast in the community section on our youtube as well i do have a lot of my gear posted uh just for clarification the gloves were crafted the weapon was purchased but i'll be recrafting and multi-modding the helmet was crafted with essence of horrors the uh chess piece was crafted and six linked um, via an awakener orb with the two t1 affixes the amulet I purchased and then crafted the resistances onto it. The ring was crafted, but this is kind of shit. This was just straight up ID'd, and then I did remove augment life, got a permanent life roll, and then put on the life regen. Saffles was purchased day one. Uh, boots were crafted. They were a pain in the ass. Uh, yeah, anyway, though, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into a quick Baron. Got my eye on you. Which is right over here. It looks really fancy, actually. I didn't know it did all that. Okay. Now, I've been getting a lot of repetitive questions on some stuff, so I'll try to answer most of them. So, I am using Flame Wall instead of Scorching Ray. The reason why I'm using Flame Wall over Scorching Ray is, number one, I just prefer the mobility. Objectively, it is at a damage loss, but it doesn't matter because it feels better and I can do all the content with it. So, I personally like it. You do lose exposure. However, even though you lose exposure you uh, still have a ton of damage and you have ways of acquiring exposure. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of list down the ways that you can actually acquire exposure. Number one, you can get a Master of Fire on a large cluster jewel or a medium cluster jewel. Uh, number two, you can get, I think it's, I don't know if it's anomalous, it's it's one of the alternate quality flame walls uh, will give you a mini, I'm not sure actually if it's mini or major exposure, but you can get it there. I don't know if I recommend that because you're most likely not going to get a 21 flame wall. You're only going to have a 20 flame wall since they're like over an exalt each and you would have to buy multiples of them since you are trying to get, um, you know, a 21. Although even a 20 is still probably pretty good. Uh, the only reason why I didn't opt out for that is because that does not help my clear at all. Using the Master of Fire at the moment, I actually clear a little bit better because the exposure is like 24-7 active which means that it's also working uh, for the Righteous Fire as we just, you know, walk through the packs here. So this is just going to be a quick Baron, I believe. I also just put Shield Charge back on. Um, for a while, I did not want to use Shield Charge. The main reason was because I felt I was getting myself killed because I was charging into a boss for Fortify, and then I would miss the Fortify because of 50% accuracy, and then... That would end up getting my character killed. Now that I'm a lot more tanky, I feel a lot more comfortable running Shield Charge. I also really like Shield Charge for mapping. It's just I don't like Shield Charge for bossing. Um, bossing is where I feel it gets me killed a lot. So I use Cold Snap for mapping, and I like to swap in Flammability for bossing. You don't really need to do this. This is mainly something I do for like Awakener, Uber Elder, stuff like that. So for here, I just wait for the LE Overload, and then we pop the Vol RF, and it's okay damage. It's not amazing, but for me, it's it's good enough for RF. I really like it. Can still get quite a bit more damage if we recraft our weapon, because we can hit Fire Multi on it, and then I can also hit like Burn or Fire damage, so that'll be very nice. That being said, I want to go ahead and pop in a Minotaur and see how well we can tank him. This is going to be with monster damage and 95% physical as cold. Uh, and we'll put... Oh, I guess Ma Maven's going to witness it too? Okay. Might be a little spook. Let's see. One of my captors felt no emotion. He did not hesitate to inflict pain. Now, all he feels is intense, unstoppable anger. And then uh, the reason why I run a Witchfire Brew at the moment is because Witchfire gives us a curse while we're mapping. 
the reason why we don't use flammability, I mean, you can use it. Uh, it's just when I'm, if we're mapping like this, there's a very low chance the flammability is actually going off at the, you know, the time that you need it. Whereas cold snap, which I don't have in right now, I have flammability. Cold snap will be kind of constant. Uh, and I noticed myself to, to basically permanently have max frenzy charges. I also dropped Infernal Cry. The covered by Ash is definitely a damage increase, but there's some weird interaction where it does not properly apply with uh, it does not properly apply with the explode chest. I don't know why. It seems like the explode chest overrides it, and then it just like doesn't work. I, I really don't know why that's a thing. Uh, in past leagues I played, that was not a thing, but I guess more recent leagues they may have changed the way uh, explosion stacking works. And then I was also running Inspiration on my Flame Dash. This was mainly to just help keep up Inspiration stacks rather than spamming Flame Wall like I am now. But I opted out to go with the Shield Charge setup and drop that setup. They're all fine. It's really just preference at this point. Oh, nice. What a beautiful way to start off the morning. An exalted orb at 8.28 a.m. right before the stream. I'd say that's streamer RNG, but I think today we can call it YouTube RNG. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay, he's burrowing already. That's kind of sucks. I just popped all my flasks. Okay. Ooh, he gets pretty hard. There we go. Good, 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 good. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much um, about it. I guess I could go over a little bit of min-maxing right now that I'm doing with the character. So I'm not sure if I want to keep my small life clusters because getting jewels like this are only like one to two exalts and you can actually harvest slam them for triple damage property. So you could get like burn damage, fire damage over time multiplier, fire damage max life. I honestly think that is so good in a single jewel slot, and then with the remaining points, I can just get life in the Scion Life Wheel. I have this whole Scion Life Wheel being unused, and it triggers me. Um, so this is something I want to figure out. But this cluster here, I have rolled so well. It's 13 life with Chaos and Ellie Res per, but some Blind Sensation is pretty shit for our build. But the baby nodes are just super good, so it's hard to replace it. I kind of want to get a flow of life back here and then move my Master of Fire to a large notable, but they were like 9 exalts for a Master of Fire burning bright, so I'm waiting for the prices to go down to like something more reasonable. Other than that, we're just trying to cap our Chaos Resist to get higher effective life with our gear, so we're going to constantly be recrafting the, uh, the Chaos here. The Chaos on my boots finally hit something good. They're like T2, so that works, and then my chest piece is T2. And then I think if I can get more total resistance, I'll try to sacrifice one of the resistances here and then slam. Actually, I don't think I can get fire multi on here because this is a, uh, this is, I, I would need the other thing. So actually that might not work. That's okay though. The next big option, if I want to do something is replacing our shield for like a two max all res hundred plus life, um, maybe like Ellie damage, and then I don't even know what the suffixes would be. My concern on doing this is if I drop my shield for a rare shield, 
Unless I have four max fire res on it, I would have to go back into a Master of Fire Notable, which means I have to spend four points, essentially, which I don't really like, because four points is like 400 life. Um, and I would lose the physical from hits taken as fire. I guess, technically, if I get enough effective life to make up for that, it works, but as of now, it just seems so difficult to drop the Saffle's Frame. It's just, it's so good in its slot, and I don't know how expensive the crafting project is going to be to try to get a better one. And then another thing is getting a better helmet. Uh, mine only has level 16 burn and does not have conk. If I had conk, it would be a lot stronger. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. So hope you guys liked the video. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Also, remember, I cannot post the Path of Building links in YouTube anymore because they are flagging it for nudity for some reason on my channel. So if you don't know how to do it, I'm going to teach you how. It's super, super, super easy. All you have to do is open your Path of Building. Make sure you're using the Path of Building community fork that you can see located in the bottom down here. From here, you're going to go to Import Export. You're going to type in my account name, which is P-O-H-X. Hit Start. Look in the Ritual League, take the Inquisitor, import the Passive Tree and Jewels, and the items and skills, and bam, you're done. Then you just have to fill in the clusters, and then you just have to mess around in the configuration if you want the actual damage of stuff. Anyway, take care, have a wonderful time, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow.